Tim and Tony podcast brings you the mild mannered movie review with your hosts Tim and Tony. On this week's episode, we will be talking about Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, along with everything else happening in the geek world. Okay. Are you not entertained? But tonight we dine in hell. Great Scott, you play ball like a girl. We're on a mission from God. If life uh, finds a way. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubble. Okay, motherfucker. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. So this past week, saw a couple new movies. Yeah. Finally saw Jumanji. Oh, no! Nice. What'd you think? <laughs> it was great. Yeah, it <laughs> definitely lived. Up, definitely lives up for the yes. being a sequel. Jack Black was uh, phenomenal. Meant to play a sixteen-year-old girl. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> he made the role his own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I liked it a lot though. It was funny and it was yeah, didn't let me down for being a Jumanji right. sequel. Which everyone expected it to. Yeah. No one expected it to be do as well as it did or yeah. be as good as it was. Uh, I don't know how they're going to do a sequel, though, because they destroyed it right yeah, after. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, <laughs> but, but it's been out for... Oh, two four, months. Four or five... I, I thought it was... Oh, it was December. December. Okay, so... December. Almost three months. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, but and like they would have to be different people then. It would, they'd yeah, be playing it would have all be, new roles almost. It would be you could probably <clears throat> use the same high school kids, but you wouldn't be able to use the Rock or. I think you would be able to use the Rock and them, but it would be different, different people playing the game. Them. Okay, would work. That would work. Yeah, and maybe have like, was it the Jonas brother could be more involved, or he would be like the leader or something. Even Colin Hanks. Yeah, Colin Hanks. <laughs> which that was a total surprise at the end. Which was he drives a... up, I'm like, what the hell? What is he doing in this picture? <laughs> what, is he, what is he doing in this picture? Yeah, that was good. And then I watched um, When We First Met. Her, it was on Netflix, Netflix right? with Adam Devine and um, the chick from uh, Baywatch. and uh, Alexandra yeah, Daddario. Daddario. Yeah, that one was, it was pretty funny. I liked it a lot. <clears throat> He's been in a lot of humor roles. Yeah, apparently. yeah, I liked it. It was it was good. Hmm. All right, let's jump into our first segment. Clark Kent, just a mild mannered reporter. He doesn't want to be famous, and I'll make him infamous. General, haven't you ever heard of freedom of the press? Well, I'm not a cop. I'm a reporter. Gossip, rumors. Panic in the streets. We're lucky. Vicky Vale. Well, I'm intrigued by Alex's giant bat story, so I've done Oh, the, the right. Bat, the Batman. Nobody cares about Clark Kent taking on the Batman. It is not. I resent that. Slander is spoken. In print, it's libel. The police won't help. The press has to do the right thing. Serious? First up on the docket, Transformers is going to reboot after the new Bumblebee spin-off movie. Which is <laughs> probably a, probably good a good idea. thing. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, although I think they should take a long, long break, but I don't think give, they will. Give it more than a year and a half or <laughs> <Yeah>. two years. <laughs> just just to let everyone cool down. I know they didn't they want it they want to do like a whole Hasbro like G.I. Joe and do a whole universe. Oh, okay. But I don't know if that's going to get messed up. It would definitely have to with the uh, G.I. Joe universe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and uh, Who, Which it? also stars The Rock, <laughs> unsurprisingly. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so maybe with this reboot they'll do that. But They could definitely get it going. Yeah. That, would, that would be an interesting universe, though. <laughs> yeah, G.I. Joe <laughs> and Transformers. Like, just and... like Hasbro games and <laughs> yeah. shows and stuff like that. <laughs> That'd be fun to see, though. It would. Uh, so this past weekend, or uh, two weekends ago, uh, Black Panther opened and made uh, $192 million 
and is, was expected to make 218 for the four-day holiday. I think still, it was very close to that, too. I yeah, don't know I, what the exact number was. It definitely got close, to. I mean, they're breaking records <clears throat> like crazy. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere. So after the and with International was one sixty nine million, it came out to like three sixty one as of Sunday total. Yeah, and I think now it's, I think now as of t- t- uh, the twenty sixth of February, I think it's at like seven hundred something. Yeah. So that's just it, it keeps climbing. Climb. Past past Justice League already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it, and for the second weekend in a row, it. I mean, it dropped off like every movie does, but not it as... It dropped a good amount, though. It, I think it was like 40, much, 40% or something, yeah. but 40% of yeah, that something is. 100 million <laughs> is still pretty high. I think, it, yeah, it was one of the bigger drops for a Marvel movie, though. I think right. just because that opening weekend was so massive, so big. though. You can't keep that up. Um, and then we got... Uh, Chris McKay wants to do the white eyes and the mask for Nightwing. I believe a fan tweeted... Like, hey, I think we should use uh, <laughs> yeah. the white eyes. He's like, yeah, totally. Or <laughs> yeah, something yeah, like sure, that. <laughs> something along those lines. Uh, but I did see, like, they were like, Deadpool did it, so I can't. They yeah, it. Deadpool <laughs> did it effectively. <laughs> yeah, it looked good. Yeah, so that that would be pretty sweet. It, it just would have to do look. Batman then. You'd have to do a Batman ball. would have to do. You'd I mean, to. you've had it, instances. Kind of, like the uh, the armored suit has right, always been white, yeah. and that worked. And Batman was Superman. Yeah. That was that was fine. They can pull it off. They should. They absolutely should. And if we're gonna get a new Batman, which has been <laughs> the rumor like, every other yeah. week, <laughs> no better time to start. And, and Batgirl's up in the air again. So yeah, um, we got our first look at Son of Shaft uh, with Samuel Jackson, who did the 2000 reboot. Uh, Jesse T. Usher, who's going to be John Shaft Jr. And then Richard Roundtree, the original 1971 Shaft, are all in the same movie. <laughs> so I think he was playing his nephew, Samuel Jackson. Yeah. I don't think I don't know if I've seen the reboot. <laughs> I, I, I can't say, remember. I, I can't remember. I think I've seen <laughs> one of them, but I I can't be sure. Yeah. So we got all three of them wearing this the same outfit. And they're all going <laughs> to be in one movie, so it's going to be gonna ridiculous. Be absurd. <laughs> yeah. It's either going to be really good or so bad that it's like, okay, now it's good. <laughs> now because it's good. That, that bad. <laughs> That'd be the only way. And then the Joker standalone movie is set to start, start shooting in May, so we should get official casting news soon. Um, not just speculation of who yeah. wants the role and stuff like that. And then, but with this point, it's yeah. like, when's DC going to learn not to rush into things? Um, the Elseworld ideas we've been talking about for a while good. that we we would like to see more of those. I think um, they even were talking about they might have three Jokers in the at the same time at the same time. Which I don't know if after the New Fifty Two, you read the DC Rebirth the one, the first one. How yes, they, I have. Uh, Bruce Wayne found out there's three different Jokers in the oh, world. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. like that would be pretty sweet, that, I think. <laughs> it would be a perfect line, and they'd be able to do it, no problem. <laughs> Just go super ridiculous. Yeah, go over the top. <laughs> go over the top. Because Jer- you you'd have Jared Leto, whoever they're going to cast on this one, and then the third one would be... I don't even know what movie... I, I didn't would it be the... F- maybe a fourth one would be the Flashpoint. Ah, uh, yeah. Because I can't think of who the third one would be. Unless they want to do another movie. Yeah. And bring in another <laughs> Joker. Just bring in someone else <laughs> entirely. Yeah. <laughs> um, sticking with some DC news. Uh, Shazam suit uh, is rumored to have some similarities to the animated movie Justice League War. So is he going to have like the white cape with the with hood? The hood. That's and, what it's seeming like. And I was thinking like the logo on his is very small, like almost like the Superman size. So that's where he's modeling it from. Because oh, okay, yeah. it's in the image of his older self. It's supposed to be. Yeah. And, and like as a superhero. So if he's seen Superman, he would the know. The suit's going to look somewhat similar to that. Well, it. We should be getting a full look soon, based on suit. based yeah. on when how they keep posting everything. They, but I, uh, I know, yeah, they were saying soon we were going to get one. Hopefully, we'll, we'll, we will see. And then Deadpool is getting his own Cards Against Humanities type game. 
which is going to be hilarious. <laughs> um, I, I saw a photo of it. I yeah, don't remember. It, I didn't see where it was. I think it was just like a concept of it. But. Yeah, I'll have to buy it. Uh, Jurassic World Three is aiming to get a June eleventh, twenty twenty one release date. So that that would make it twenty twenty one would be thirty years after the first one. Yeah, because wasn't it like ninety no, ninety three? Okay, so twenty seven ish. <laughs> twenty seven. We're close, but everyone should hold on to your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest line in all the movies. And recently, they were saying too. I think when he was on like a tour recently, someone asked about his Jurassic Park death. Yeah. And oh, they like, filmed it. They were, they, were, they filmed. They were supposed either they did or they I were think supposed they did. to. And, and there was like a storm, and he couldn't make it. So they're like, "All right, you know what? He's just he's dead off screen, and here's his arm. Like, <laughs> he's dead off screen. Man. That's how we're gonna do it." <laughs> yeah, that should be. And it's funny they're getting a release date before the second one's even out. <laughs> yeah, that, I, so, that's very bold of them. Very bold. Well, Jarrett, didn't uh, Jumanji do that, though? They, or they announced they were going to do a second yeah, one. Yeah, they did. <laughs> very bold, bold move, Cotton. Bold move. <laughs> and then fans now want to hear the new Claw mixtape teased in the Black Panther movie. <laughs> um, in the, basically... Was it, it was wasn't the that first exchange in the casino. And, yeah. yeah. Was it, was that the like, exact same casino as James Bond? <laughs> Which the uh, I for, any of them? <laughs> no, um, wasn't uh, it casino? It, not it, cas- it wasn't. Uh, I don't think it was Casino Royale. It was um, Skyfall. I think Skyfall, it's, where he walks in. He's like on the upper level. Yeah, like, yeah, see, yeah. It looked it exactly been, the same. It could have been the, the same. way they like walked in, and uh, <laughs> it looked very similar. Yeah, this. But that was a great scene, though. He's like, uh, you look like a rapper with your entourage. <laughs> oh, you want my mixtape? <laughs> so what is it? It's on uh, Spotify or something? Spotify, SoundCloud. Yeah. You know? <laughs> He's like, stop talking. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was great. Um, Mark Hamill is to get a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame March 8th. I don't know how he hasn't gotten one. Right. Right. I, I've right. been seeing a lot of that, too. but And some people are saying, like, you have to buy your own star. Or like, pay oh, you pay for the spot them, and yeah. keep it like keep it up kept or stuff. So I, I, I'm not I sure what you to believe. A, like campaign for it or put in. It's, the, it's something like, like that. Like it's almost like you're applying to get it. It's like a Hall of Fame type yeah. where it's like, okay, you can get in after. Because I know what is it, Ralph Garman? Uh, it's funny it, uh, goes along with their episode. Yeah. Uh, their campaign opinion. to get Adam West his. Oh, okay. That. And there's like a documentary about it, about him oh, that campaigning. Makes, that makes more sense then. Because like, yeah. they became friends. He's like, how do you not have a star? <laughs> like, that's ridiculous. Well, it, there's a lot of those lists of like actors who never worked again after certain roles, or like people who blew up after certain roles. Yeah, he was one. Adam West was one of them. And that's like, all right, you're Batman. And that's it. <laughs> right. You're done. And I guess it kind of happened with Hamill, but. I mean, he was Joker for... <laughs> right, yeah. But, I mean, besides being Luke, most of his live action are just tiny cameo roles or, like, small one-offs. True. Yeah, so that that's good, though. That he's finally, yeah, getting, he's one. finally getting it. <clears throat> and then news out of Chris Tucker, he says that there will be a Rush Hour 4 with Jackie Chan <laughs> and that it will be happening soon. Which... I don't even remember three. <laughs> three was the one in Paris. Ah, okay, okay. And that's all I remember. <laughs> that's all I remember. Two was good. Two was the, probably one of the better ones. <laughs> the, the, the blooper reel in the credits alone is <laughs> worth the, the entire movie. <laughs> okay, kick it Okay, kick it down, Jackie. All right, Chris Tucker. He breaks the door. Like, Chris Tucker. <laughs> um... Some Star Wars news. Uh, they are abandoning the Wilhelm scream. Yeah, it's been one of those where they haven't really used it. In what they, was it? Rogue they didn't One. They use it in Rogue One or the Last Jedi, but they've used it in every other. Every movie. literally everyone. Yeah. And if you're confused as to what we're talking about, this is what we're talking about. <laughs> in some form or another, it's in every. 
almost movie, but definitely almost every Star Wars movie. And it's the noise Buzz Lightyear makes when he falls out the window. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then there's going to be a Zorro reboot called Z, which cast uh, Kersey Clemens, who was supposed to play Iris West in Justice League, I believe. I think she still is. I don't know, though. That's up in the air, too, I think. <laughs> But they've already cast Gael Garcia Bernal as Zorro two years ago. <laughs> so I don't know if they're keeping him as Zorro or they're just like starting over. I, who knows? It's one of those where it's like, okay, it's let's get this, try and get this movie made, but it just never happens. Yeah. But it's supposedly supposed to be set in the near future as well. So at least it's a different take than the Antonio the, the we got. And Keth, what was it Catherine Zeta Jones, yeah. right? Was the love interest? Yeah, it was one of the early ones I watched. I was like, "Oh, okay, <laughs> interesting." Was, I liked. I, I liked the original, the first one that he made. I don't remember this. He made two of them. Yeah, though, right? I don't remember the second one. The, uh, was it the Mask of Zorro or the Return of? Zorro? Wasn't it the Mask of Zorro and then the Return? I think so. Something like that. Some something pretty basic like that. I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, the star in Jungle Cruise, another Disney Park ride. Um, don't know if it's going to be as successful as Pirates of the Caribbean, but with him, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll do it. It won't get. It might get closer, but it won't. I don't think it would surpass it. Yeah. Uh, the visual effects supervisor says that it's The Rock in Indiana Jones, Which, in an Indiana Jones movie. You sold me there. Like, <laughs> you sold me there. Honestly, they had me at Jungle Cruise, <laughs> but an Indiana Jones, Dwayne The Rock Johnson movie. <laughs> Why not? Let's, let's Why go. not? I'm all in. <laughs> and then closing it out of the news that week, or this week, uh, Joss Whedon exits the Batgirl movie, saying that he couldn't find a story for her, is one of his reasons. Yeah, and I think a, what lot he of the, said. a lot of flack from Justice League, I think, that and, I don't know, I'm guessing... That and there's probably... It's probably not a huge factor, but every everything's all women director, women yeah. storylines, writers and stuff. And so. now they want to get a woman director to do it too. Yeah. So. And I think um, one of the Batgirl comic writers has come out and said, said "Like, hey, I got a story ready. Just <laughs> I got a story. <laughs> I, I got. I guess I'm ready to go. Just <laughs> let me let me know." But uh, it'll be interesting to see where the whole universe plays out after all the Justice League. Yeah. Okay, looks like it's time for some TVT trivia. Truth is, I am Iron Man. I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Batman. I'm Wayne Brady, bitch! I am the father. This week's theme is Jay and Silent Bob. Also, I think this is where the episode's going to hit the uh, explicit <laughs> category. <Yeah. laughs> so, and, and if not this one, then at least the main topic will be. <laughs> at least the main mention. topic and the quotes, for sure. <laughs> and the quotes, for sure. <laughs> so if you're listening at work, you may want to put your headphones in. <laughs> All right, do you have the scores from... Yes, I do. I looked it up on my way here. <laughs> I made sure that was one of the things I definitely did. So the old score, uh, Tim, you had 35.75 points, and I had 33.74 points. Ooh. So I, the last two weeks helped me catch helped up you. a little bit. But that point oh one point, <laughs> I'm going to lose that point somewhere. That <laughs> Um, do you want to go first, or do you, should I go first? Um, I'll go first. All right. All right, my who am I? Uh, <clears throat> the, this is my first time working with Kevin Smith, but it isn't my last. <laughs> this is scary, because I think we have the same <laughs> The same person? I think so. I, then we each get... Uh, we'll, each, we'll each get three, then? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
But then if you guess your, yours... Uh, well, if I get... Then you, do do then, we have to call the guy in the chair to, <laughs> to, corrob- to, to, to corroborate? corroborate. <laughs> um, give me... Uh, give, uh, this is one of my first films with Kevin Smith directing. Uh, you're going to say we should write it down? Or? What, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> we're each going to write it down. And then we give the second one. You get the second question. If you want to stick with it. I also have a bunch of bonus, so if we... This this is a first. I was... Actually, as I was writing mine, I'm like, you know what? It's a real possibility. Out of all the people in the movie, <laughs> okay. the odds of us picking... I'll give you my second one. Okay. Uh, two of my other castmates from the movie franchise that made me famous are also in this movie. Oh, okay. No, we... We don't have the... No, we don't. Do you want to... Um, well, then you can't... <laughs> all right. Well, you're okay. down to two I'm points. I'm down to two points, then. Yeah. Um, two of my other... Um, the obvious choice would be either Jason Biggs, Shannon Elizabeth, or Sean William Scott. But which one was it? Which one was their first movie? Who was the first one? Uh, this is my first time working with Kevin Smith, but it isn't my last. First time working with Kevin Smith, but it isn't my last. You said two other castmates are in this movie with yeah. a person? Ooh, see, that makes it rougher, too. Because then it could be like Ben Affleck and <laughs> the chick at the end and Matt Damon. Ah. Uh, Okay, what's the, what's the third one? Uh, here you go. This one's going to give it away. <laughs> I, I, hope, I certainly hope so. Wait, wait till the end. I may be a goon, but I make a pretty good role model, so I'll give you the rundown. <laughs> but first, dude, where's my car? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to guess Sean Williams. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> role models was a very good one. Okay, so I'll get... You get one I get for that one. one. I have the pen back, sir. Oh. I I was oh, damn. That would have been nice if we. That would have been funny if we had the same one. <laughs> the same, okay, so what was your what, first one? Okay, again? so my first one is this is one of my first films with Kevin Smith directing. One of my first Kevin Smith directing. Uh, damn. Broad, yes, but yeah, that's, that's how uh, just give me the second one. We, we play hard to get here. <laughs> I play one of the larger roles in the film, even with several, even though several of my scenes have been cut, cut down. Ooh, looking at your list of characters there. I am. And that is a super long list. That's what, I, that's, the, that's what I'm looking at. That's everybody. Um, I'm going to go... I'm just going to go Will Ferrell. No. So here's the third one. My daughter's godfather appears in this film. My daughter's godfather. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I want to say, hmm. It's an interesting one. It is the stuff. Oh, um. Did you find it? Mark Hamill? No. No? Um. The other. Let's see. Let's see if I can think of another. Um, another clue. I play one of the four cat burglars. Uh, is it uh, <clears throat> uh, Eliza Dushku? No, it's Allie not. Ellie Lartner? No. Uh, Got two more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Jennifer Schwalbach. Yeah, his wife. His wife. Yep. Jennifer Smith now? Jennifer Schwalbach. Schmith. 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 Yes. Damn. All right. What is your second question? Ooh. All right. What movie are Jay and Silent Bob in that is not directed by Kevin Smith? Oh, crap. <laughs> um... They, yeah, they appear in the background. Oh, <laughs> balls! Balls! I, I don't remember the movie. Scream three. Scream three, because <laughs> that was like a test. Or like they used. They were he wasn't going to make a movie, and then he, yeah. he saw the response to it. He's like, oh, okay. They, uh, I think people went to go see the Jane and Bob Strike Back trailer. <laughs> that's what it, that's that's what it was. They During the movie Scream t- Two, yep, and then they would leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I didn't get anything there. My second one is how many times is the word "fuck" said? Two hundred and forty-eight. <laughs> that was an easy one. <laughs> that was an easy one. <laughs> All right. Uh, what? Was the superhero that Jay and Silent Bob knocked down during their chase in the Mir- Miramax lot? <laughs> what was this? Oh, uh, Daredevil. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> what two actors are also co stars in other films? <laughs> there's yes. a, there's yep. a lot. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and I'll, I'll add this to make it a lot easier. Um, this is the first time they've worked together since they were in a movie together. Since they were in a movie mm-hmm. together. Since they started in a movie, this was the first time they appeared on. Oh. They appeared together. Uh, Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher. Yep. See, that would have been near impossible. <laughs> near impossible. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, my bonus. Uh, this this movie features two actors who would later portray Batman. Who are they? Diedrich Bader <laughs> and Ben Affleck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that was a good one. <laughs> um, my one of my bonus is what is the logo on Silent Bob's hat of? Um. <clears throat> I want to say it's movies. Is that going to be your answer? I've watched three Kevin Smith movies in the last couple of days. This is tough. <laughs> yeah, it could be literally. <laughs> I, I, can't remember all the time. I can't remember which one he's wearing in this one. Uh, or it was Buddy Christ. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm going to go movies, though. You were correct. It was the movie logo hat. Nice. All right. You got another bonus? Uh, no, it was my how many times was the word fuck said. <laughs> That's my other bonus. <laughs> 240. <laughs> um, I've got. I'll do one for a half a point because it's. Basic. Should you okay. should know it? What is the name of the movie they were filming that Jane and Silent Bob were extras in? Um, uh, Goodwill Hunting Two, uh, Hunting Season. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, and then for another... I don't, I don't like them apples. <laughs> <laughs> when he's, when I like how they got that, that same actor, too, yeah. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> like he had no reason to be in no. that. <laughs> and then for... We'll do it for another half point. Who is Harley Quinn Smith's godfather? Um, <laughs> this was part of my first question, yes. I know, I can't remember now. Uh... I'm going to say Ben Affleck? No, it is no? Jason, Jason Lee. Mews and... Jason Lee. Oh, Jason Lee? I'm pretty sure. I think, pretty sure. I think Jason Mews might be another one, but I think from what I read, it was Jason, it was Jason Lee. Lee. So I'm going to give you a half for that. One, two, three and a half for you, and three for me. So... 39.25 for you. And 36.74 for me. 
Yeah, because 3 is 38. Point five would be four. Yep. All right. All right. So Tim, you have thirty nine point two five, and I have thirty six point seven four, <laughs> which I will be putting on the screen right about now, or I should be. It might be. My coca has negative one. <laughs> <laughs> for for not keeping up his comments on the video, negative you have been one. subtracted a point. <laughs> So you are now at zero because we phantomly <laughs> talked about giving you a point a couple weeks ago. <laughs> but we did not. <laughs> All righty. It's finally time for the main event, the moment you've all been waiting for, our review of Giant Silent Bob Strike Back. We're going to start off with a summary. We're going to take this one from IMDb because <coughs> we felt it was pretty pretty good. Uh, the, you, go uh, the comic Bluntman and Chronic is based on real-life stoners, Jay and Silent Bob. So when they get uh, no profit from the big screen adaptation, they set out to wreck the movie. Yeah, so we're going to continue with our top five and... Uh, Top five parts of the movie, a quotes. couple couple quotes, and then a couple things we felt could have been done differently or better. And um, then a ranking at the end. Yes. All right, um, I'll go first. Uh, <clears throat> I do love, my number one has got to be Will Ferrell shooting at the end. His <laughs> face is just, <laughs> it so was like fun. perfect. So good. <laughs> if that, that scene could be like a little longer, it'd be great. I, I'm <laughs> sure they shot that for a, a while too, so there's got to be extra <laughs> extra footage of that somewhere. <laughs> yeah, his face though while he's shooting the gun is great. Uh, my number two is the rap that we just listened to. So great. <laughs> At the time, suck ass. <laughs> hey, I got to tell you something about them. <laughs> <laughs> Stop standing in front of them. <laughs> or, I also forgot, like rewatching it, that like their their moms dropped like dropped Drop them off. The, yeah. I forgot their whole that How whole thing in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Um, uh, just all the cameos that he had, like all his buddies coming in and doing stuff, and then you got Mark Hamill and George Carlin, and Carrie Fisher, a couple of, like really big names. Yeah, I mean Will Ferrell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and what's it? Judd Nelson is a sheriff. Judd is a sheriff. Yeah, <laughs> which is really random. I thought it's it's like one of those roles where it's like, okay, is it really him? And then once <laughs> you look at him, you're like, okay, yeah, yeah it is. Uh, I love the two times that Silent Bob talks. Oh, what, one of my other <laughs> trivia questions is going to be how many words does he say? How many? Oh, I wouldn't have gotten that one. <laughs> so I think it's one or two. You stupid fuck! It's <laughs> 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 Animals, what was it? Uh, uh, critters from critters. Holly, critters for Hollywood, yeah. or from Hollywood or something. Hollywood critters. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it said on the sign. <laughs> uh, and then I love the Will Ferrell letting him go at the diner. <laughs> I, I don't have a political fiasco on my hands. <laughs> that is clearly an ape. <laughs> that, literally, as they're like five, after he lets him go, they're five feet. He's like, that, that was them, that wasn't it? Was <laughs> that <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> They all just start shooting just at him. Just immediately after. <laughs> that was them, wasn't it? All right, and then uh, some honorable mentions. The uh, the devil and the angel on Jay's. <laughs> I gotta beat beat some two devil's ass. Like, the angels. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Uh, Jason Biggs and uh, Vanderbeek as Jay and Silent Bob. Or so, Silent Bill. So, yeah. <laughs> Didn't you read the script? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you read the script? <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. And uh, the fact that they didn't know what the internet was, I thought it just shows how dated <laughs> yeah, this, right, this yeah. movie is. What the fuck is the internet? <laughs> it's one of my quotes, I believe. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite parts 
of the film was overall how self-aware it was with like all the camera spikes when they were like referencing themselves directly. Uh, yeah. Um, how they used like the old secret stash for the uh, the Brody's. one in ca- for Brody's yeah, stash. Yeah, because it I think was, it was Brody's secret stash. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I think that was the location in like California that they had. Um, I but the the store inside is identical to the one that they, they film in. Film. Yeah. yeah, it looks exactly. It probably is the same one. <laughs> And then another one of my favorite parts were all the van scenes when they're in the with all the with girls, the with the yeah. girls yeah the intro of Sean William Scott <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> just hilarious and then all I put for this was Will Ferrell <laughs> <laughs> like just is it like uh, what is it the the fugitive scene <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> so who are you and he rips off his <laughs> yeah I, uh, and then they're it? in the drain forest marshal or something yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a clever guy. <laughs> he goes and jumps after him. Yeah. <laughs> and then another thing I liked was that it was basically the entire movie was just like a big ode to Hollywood classics that Kevin Smith likes. Yeah. It was there was very clearly a lot of Batman sixty six sets and labels and yeah they based the whole Blunt Man Blunt Man and, yeah on uh, it off of the Batman sixty six Batcave. Um, the other one, like the Star Wars references, mm-hmm. using Mark Hamill with <laughs> all of it. Not again. <laughs> yeah. His hand gets cut off. <laughs> um, there was a lot of like Jaws references that I saw. Like the golf cart had like teeth on it. Like drawn oh, teeth okay. on it. Not like actual. Um, and then I like that the actors playing themselves or versions of like roles that they played. So Ben Affleck yeah. and Matt Damon. <laughs> yeah. And then... Uh, I don't know. They'll like Jason Bateman. They'll probably get Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. <laughs> Ooh. Those guys uh, in Good Will Hunting. That, what was it? The, the Mork movie? Mork, yeah. The Mork from Mork? Mork. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like uh, Jason Biggs and James Vanderbeek like referencing yeah. their own Dawson's Creek and American <laughs> you Pie. Wouldn't, you wouldn't last <laughs> a day on the creek. <laughs> I'm the pie fucker. <laughs> I'm the pie fucker. <laughs> Or when they ask, like, hey, did you, so did you get anywhere with Shannon, like, Shannon Elizabeth? Who oh, yeah, the old in soldier? the movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, that kind of stuff's hilarious. And then my one of my honorable mentions was Chris Rock as the director. As the director. <laughs> just, just Chris Rock being Chris Rock. Like, you go do five minutes <laughs> you, of... His, the uh, director assistant that's next to him... That like says all uh, this is the guy, he's in J- Happy. Jamie Kennedy. Oh, no, the other, oh, there's uh, a different guy. When he's like... Or it'll make it look like House Party Three. He's oh, like, that guy! That That's the that guy was in Happy. He's the bad Santa. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, also Jamie Kennedy in the, yeah. movie, in the movie. And then another of my honorable mentions was at the end when they're all walking out of the theater. Yeah. It's um, Walt Zapsick and or no Walt Flanagan. Walt Flanagan and, and Mike Zapsick and Walt Flanagan and uh, Brian Johnson. Yeah. Who looks unrecognizable? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he tells him like the name of his podcast that he uh, has now. Tell, tell him, him Steve Dave. Yeah, it's just like funny that it's like, of course he's gonna throw him in somewhere. <laughs> they they also have a deleted scene where they're in the uh, secret stash and they're like, this place sucks or something. And he's like, <laughs> you're banned. <laughs> and then Brian Johnson's like, this guy will suck your dick. <laughs> and he like pushes his head down. And he's like, no. <laughs> so yeah, just him using like his buddies and it's fantastic. Yeah. A uh, few problems with the movie. It's t- it didn't really have. Honestly, I really didn't. It, like you were saying earlier, it's hard with a comedy yeah. to, to really have a problem with it. No Stan Lee cameo, though. He was yeah, in Mallrats, it's... though, but not in this one. And I feel like this is a perfect one for him to be in. Too. Oh yeah, <laughs> something about writing comics and then yeah. having it be like uh, just Stan Lee doing whatever he wants. But kind of backdoor into that, that that link I sent you a couple of days ago of like it was Kevin Smith, Stan Lee, JJ Abrams, Mark Hamill, and Jason Lee like eating dinner. And they were <laughs> literally just talking about whatever they wanted. <laughs> so it was mostly like Star Wars, JJ mm-hmm. Abrams, like I think it was right at the time of Lost. Okay, so b- before yeah. he was, I think it was like 2010. Big, huge name, yeah. yeah. So it was. Interesting <laughs> to see them all just like sitting. All basically, all the people in the movie, besides JJ and Stan Lee, mm-hmm. were just in like <laughs> sitting around eating dinner and chatting it up. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cool. 
All right, now we're going to do some favorite quotes that we had, starting off with... I am the clit commander! <laughs> it's just a classic, <laughs> classic, classic line. <laughs> Which is in our trivia. Yes, it is. Intro. It was that good. <clears throat> um, I'm going to save my best for last, I think. Uh, you want me to go first, then? Uh, Switch. Switch it up, or do you just want to save your best for last? I'm just going to save my best for last. All right. Uh, I did love the Chris Rock. This, this movie's going to make House Party look like House Party 2. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. It just gets me every time. <laughs> the, way he, the way he said all of his lines. Yeah. Just like, he's doing almost basically doing a stand-up bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, when it was Dietrich Bader as the security guard. Sorry to interrupt, sirs, but we got a, a 10.07 on our hands. So Matt Damon looks at Ben Affleck. Oh, Jesus, not again, Ben? He, he goes, no, bullshit, because I wasn't with a hooker today. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> but like, even the, the scene before, he's like, uh, we got a 10.07. He's like, oh, Ben Affleck killed another hooker. And he's like, no, that's a 10.15 or yeah. something. It's like, and the guy on the radio was, was Ben Affleck. Affleck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus again Ben I wasn't with a hooker today <laughs> and then I love this when they're outside the grocery store with the girls and uh, just is like well maybe there's like a whole build up she's like why she likes him he's like well maybe just, he, he just has manners and then they show Jay outside yo baby you ever had your asshole licked by a, man, a fat man in an overcoat <laughs> it's just like the perfect way to <laughs> cut that <laughs> yeah <laughs> Perfect. Silent Bob's just looking at him like, what the fuck? Not, not saying no, but being like, well, yeah. not really? <laughs> Maybe he just has manners. Yo, babe. <laughs> hey, babe. Hey, babe. All right. Some of my favorite quotes was, uh, we'll start with the first one, was, what the fuck? I think it's Jay saying, what the fuck is the internet? <laughs> and then Ben Affleck goes, the internet is a communications tool used the world over where people can come together to bitch about movies and share pornography with each other. <laughs> yeah. It was basically like he was reading like a, like a Wikipedia definition <laughs> or something. Like, straight off the internet. Basically. I do love when they're reading all the reviews. So <laughs> or uh, Jay, Jay and Silent Bob suck ass. <laughs> it's not you though. And he's like trying to explain <laughs> it to him. And he's like, Oh, you, what is, what is, he goes into that whole spiel like, oh, you're Jay and Silent Bob? I heard you two suck dick or something. <laughs> now, they're, now they're getting it with two other guys. <laughs> no, they're not talking about you, Jay and Silent Bob. They're talking about the characters based on the likeness of you, Jay and Silent Bob. <laughs> and then, this was a small line, but uh, um, another Jay quote was, uh, yeah. get off my Kool-Aid, motherfucker. <laughs> when when uh, Bob goes in for a kiss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because it's just like so faint, like he was walking away. He's just like, yeah. get out of my Kool Aid. <laughs> and then my other quote that I liked was from Sean William Scott. He's like, What's your damage, little boy? You've got a sick and twisted world perspective. <laughs> they, uh, when they first meet in the book. Yeah. The van. Did, you ever, did you watch the bloopers? No, I didn't oh, watch the bloopers. The bloopers are great. They do a lot of Sean William Scott, and then uh, Jay's laughs a lot. <laughs> but uh, they do the one. I think it's this line actually, and they couldn't get it right. Like uh, Jay, just every time he looks at him, just starts laughing. <laughs> well, apparently, I don't know. This is just all rumor, but apparently, Jay, Jason Mewes was just drunk and yeah, like high or whatever off the, the whole, entire time. Yeah. It just made it a nightmare. But also, um, Sean William Scott and the American Pie Group were shooting the movie at the same time. Uh, American or, Pie Two. American yeah. Pie Two. Yeah. yeah. So that was kind of fun. Like, yeah, just move some set to set. All right, uh, so we'll recast, but we're not. We're gonna recast Jay and Silent Bob, but not Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes. We're no, recasting the role, the roles for Jay and Silent Bob reboot, because that movie's about them rebooting Blunt Man and right. Chronic. So we'll be recasting pretty much Blunt Man and Chronic and Jay and Silent Bob. Yep. Which I really like yours. <laughs> yours are my, probably yeah. my favorite. Um, I didn't like my Jay. I couldn't really think of anybody. But like, well, it, I do just like. Just I do friends, like. His, I, that's why I. It kind of kind of works. Kinda I how think. I pick mine. Yeah. Um. So for Silent Bob, I'm going to go Kevin James because Kevin Smith gets mistaken for Kevin James <laughs> all, the time. all the time. So I think it'd be <laughs> funny. And then I went with his buddy David Spade as Jay. <laughs> Maybe it'd just be a, like an older hair. take on yeah. both of them. <laughs> <laughs> that that would work too. That would, 
Is that what? <laughs> and then uh, my number two would be Tim Redman and Tony Marchiori. Uh, give us a call. We would absolutely be interested and available. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just be those two new upcomers that are yeah. in the reboot. Even if we're in the reboot of the scene where we're extras in a scene, <laughs> yeah, just, I will take that. I will take that. Just call me. Hit me up on Twitter. You know. <laughs> um, and then for my characters, I did. I went for Jay. I went with Conan. Just. Just. I was kind <laughs> of on that. Um, the buddies <laughs> together because then my Silent Bob would yeah. be Andy Richter. Yeah, that works. And then, just for to be ultra meta in in the movie, Jay would be Ben Affleck and Silent Bob would be Matt Damon. Yeah, you could probably reverse them, but I just went with Ben Affleck Which being taller. Taller. Yeah. And they make a joke that they were gonna play them, so I, it would have been perfect. Or it will be. It would be perfect. Or if you were already thinking that, go for it. Go for it. Go. Ben Affleck's a little more expensive than us, <laughs> just but. a little bit. Yeah. Both of them. You know what? It, yeah, I was gonna say just flies out, but I mean, flies. just give us the give us an hour on set, we'll make the whole movie. Um, any final thoughts? Um, on the movie as a whole, no, just much better than I remembered it. Because I think the first time I actually saw it was just like a van scene, um, the girls breaking in scene, and like. Uh, the Will Ferrell and the monkey scene at the diner. I'm pretty sure those are like the three parts I've seen in the movie. So now watching it all the, all way, the way through, through. I was <clears throat> yeah, I love this I liked movie. it a lot better. Um, yeah, uh, final thoughts. This is a great one. Uh, it worked. Like even though they're side characters in all the other movies, like it worked as them as main characters. So right. Like, that was good. And then I don't know. Uh, I feel like Kevin Smith is awesome. Just in general, and that's like the reason why we're, or I am at least, because I listen to most of his podcasts. I was just saying, he's definitely one of the reasons why I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll do yeah. this, yeah, why not? Yeah. He well, just goes up there and, and he, talks about whatever he wants for... Fantastic actor, because he talks all the time, and he's silent in these movies, right. so... He was in one of, uh, Die Hard, we talked about him earlier, oh, yeah. how we, he was like one of their, one, uh, at least one of my the favorite Warlock. parts, the Warlock, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, he also, not... Not to keep going on Kevin Smith, but absolutely to keep going on Kevin Smith. <laughs> um, he's, a, he's a big influence for why I like Batman so much. Like, just listening to his early podcast oh, and talking to it. About uh, a fat man on Batman. Yeah. yeah. yeah All so that like, just really got got it into it. Got us yeah, into it. Big fan of Fat Man on Batman and Hollywood Babylon with him and Ralph Garman. And, and Comic Book Man on AMC. Oh, yeah. I love I, that show. So great. <laughs> so great. All right. Uh, well, let's jump over to ranking. Well, we're gonna this week we're gonna rank our top five Kevin Smith movies. Which a little disclaimer for me, I have a very short list. I have not seen many movies directed by him somehow, even throw, though I know a lot of them. You could throw Die Hard on there. Gonna, He's you know, in it. I'm gonna then I will. <laughs> I'll, I'll edit my rankings real quick. <laughs> um, shoot it up to number one. <laughs> I will go to. All right, go ahead. All right, my my top five. Uh, number one is Dogma. I love that movie. I think after twelve years of Catholic school, like this movie <laughs> yeah, I'm sure is, is, is hysterical. That's why I'm sure I would like that yeah, movie. Yeah, it, it's great. I mean, all the reasons you love this movie, you'll love that movie. A uh, few different cameos, and you still get like all the same people are in it though. Pretty oh, much like Matt Damon me. and Ben Affleck are bigger roles. Plus, you get <clears throat> Hans Gruber. Oh, oh uh, yeah, Alan Rickman. Uh, I totally he plays an angel, right? He plays the voice or, of God, the, oh, yeah. Metatron. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just watched this the other night too, just because after watching Jane Silent Bob, I was like, I need to watch Dogma. Watch it. Uh, number two. Uh, directed uh, he's not a, I don't think he's in this one but Zack and Mary make a porno I think he just directed I it. think he just directed it uh, that's a that's a great one though it's hysterical a sneaky funny yeah. with a lot of people in it too Brandon Ralph and uh, oh yeah and uh, what's the other guy's name his lover in it oh um, uh, um Blanket Justin Long Justin Long yeah, yeah. <laughs> is like perfect in that movie <laughs> yeah. just a small role but I don't know that, yeah, it's like a 30 second oh, scene oh, or uh, <laughs> One of my favorite scenes in that one has got to be the hug it, chug it, football. <laughs> the, yeah, what's his name's all drunk in the yeah. in the place while they're filming a porn. Uh, 
Number three, Mallrats. Uh, classic. Uh, then Clerks. I, I only put one, but I would put two right there, too. Okay. Both of oh, both right, right there. there. Yeah. And then uh, five would be Tusk. I, I don't know. I I've just heard love Tusk it. is just absurd. It's very absurd. <laughs> like, but it's, it's good. It's... I like it more than I liked Yoga Hosers. I think. Oh yeah, but I don't know. It's I love and it's just such a weird movie. Like, and you're waiting the whole movie to see him turn him into a walrus. And oh really? It's, it's, it's perfect. It's, <laughs> it's, it's so ridiculous. It, it's it's you two up until the end. Yeah, yeah. And you, you Johnny Depp's in it too, and <laughs> he plays like a he's like a French Canadian uh, detective or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, but the, the, that's my top five. All right. So with my new edited list, <laughs> we'll do my number one movie, Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. It was just, it's the quintessential. Oh, I didn't even put that on there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's number six. Time for number five. Time for number five. Um, number two, since we're going to pencil it in, uh, his role in Die Hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Live Free or Die Hard, I believe. Um, number three, Cop Out with Bruce Willis yeah. and Tracy Morgan, I think. I was, it was just like one of those funny cop movies. Yeah. Sean William Scott. Yeah. <laughs> and then four would be Zach and Miri make a porno. Those are my four movies that I've actually knowingly remembered of seeing. Seen. Directed by Kevin Smith. But now there will be a lot more. <laughs> that's for sure. Okay. So that's been our show today. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tim and Tony Talk, and leave us a comment. You can also find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash Tim and Tony Talk. And follow us on Twitter at Tim and Tony Talk. Also, check out our website, timandtonytalk.com. Keep up with our blog and podcast. Make sure to join us for our next episode for our discussion of the, the on the past week's TV recap. Thanks for listening. I'm Tim. And I'm Tony. And we are the Dynamic Duo. Good night.